this film is wholly different uh, in the DC universe, but it's still placed right in the heart of the DCU. Mm -hmm. Was that a difficult balance to kind of like maintain? Yes, no, I mean, honestly, the thing that I love about the DCEU is that we are, as creatives, free to kind of play around and do these different tones, different styles. Sure. They've been so supportive of that from the beginning. Um, so it was fun to kind of do the research, get to know all of the other projects, get to know kind of what's out there, but then also kind of do our own standalone thing that felt like its own unique piece. I've been a fan of Harley Quinn since Batman the Animated Series. Talk to me about the process of getting into the mind of Harley Quinn. <laughs> Pure fun. Um, no, it was amazing. And, and of course, spending that much time with Margot. We've been working on this for about four and a half years. You know, we started by doing a huge amount of research. She was obviously already deep sure. into Harley by then. Um, she was still shooting Suicide Squad. But really, we just did a lot of reading, a lot of falling in love with Harley. And then both just kind of, I won't say we adopted the Harley <laughs> Quinn, you know, moral compass, but getting to know it so well that it felt really natural and really innate. So that between the two of us, we always knew, like, who she would punch in the face, who she would kind of take care of. It just kind of felt natural by the end. Now, I love that this roster of Birds of Prey all has a purpose within mm. the story, and each one of their purposes is completely different. Yeah. So was there any other characters that you may have toyed with that you were thinking mm -hmm. about including, but either wanted to save later or just didn't quite work? Yes, but I can't reveal any secrets about who and what and when and where and why. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> now, um... This movie is full of empowerment and yeah. such a such a such a great great story with all these females. Can you talk to me about how that kind of felt and just bringing that to the screen? Yeah, honestly, it just happened kind of pretty organically and naturally. It began just as you say with these four individual stories, and it kind of naturally came about that thematically each one of these characters feels in some way kind of trapped. Sure. So that the emancipation isn't just of Harley Quinn, it's of all of the characters, all of the heroes, and even in some ways the villain as well. Like that theme kind of rang true for all of them that that arc of empowerment and emancipation would kind of come out. And by the way, this version of Black Mask is amazing. Ewan McGregor knocks it out of the park. He's, He's fantastic. Equally creepy and funny yeah. at the same time. Great balance. <laughs> uh, now, these are all very street level characters yeah. uh, in Gotham City. Mm. Is this a part of the DCEU that you kind of want to stay in, or is, do you want to explore a little bit more? I know you got Flashpoint yeah. as well coming up. But. Um, Listen, I loved saying on this level, exactly as you say, like street level, it felt right for these characters. Um, as you know, most of them are not metahuman. Um, Canary being the cheeky right, exception. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm also really enjoying playing with some of the biggest stuff in Flash. Um, I, I love all sides of the DCEU. That's why I'm very, very grateful they're letting me kind of have a hand in a few right, different right. things. I mean, so much fun. But I, I was uh, talking with John Cena not mm -hmm. too long ago, and him and I got, got into the discussion of Bumblebee because we, mm -hmm. I, I love that movie. Um, but I have a theory, mm -hmm. and, and maybe confirm or deny. Okay. My theory is that John, so this was a soft reboot of yeah. the Transformers, but also it seemed like a soft reboot of G.I. Joe because John Cena could be the, the Duke <laughs> character. Can you confirm, John Cena wanted me to ask you, can you confirm that or deny? <laughs> John told you to well, ask me. Well, he said put it out in the, in the world, so I may as well, right? I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> He's so cheeky. <laughs> well, let's hope it's true. Yeah, let's hope that's it's right. true. Let's cross fingers. Um, where would you like to see some of these characters go next? Everywhere. I want to see them take over. <laughs> <laughs>